The new dimension tool in Illustrator allows you to quickly plot and measure linear, angular, and radial dimensions. Sounds boring? Absolutely. But look, I have these shapes here on my artboard, and if you click on the dimension tool right here in the toolbar, a taskbar with three options appears. What are these three options? Linear, angular, and radial dimensions, as I just mentioned as well as the tool settings or options right here. Let's start with the linear dimension. Click on it, then click on an anchor point, click on another anchor point, move the cursor, and then click to confirm. Or let's undo that. Go ahead and hover over a side of the shape. And when you see this pink line guide, simply click and drag, keeping the line guide parallel to the side of the shape and then release. This is called the aligned dimension, which is the direct distance between these two points. If you want to measure the vertical or horizontal distance instead, then you can do the same thing, but before releasing, simply move the cursor to make the line guide vertical or horizontal. Now let's switch to angular dimension, and let's hover over the anchor point of the angle you want to plot, and when you see this pink angular guide, just click and drag inward to plot the interior angle, or outward to plot the exterior angle. If you have two intersecting lines, you can click on a point on the first line, and then click on a point on the second line, move the cursor, and then click once to plot the angle. Now let's activate radial dimension. This will work on circles and arcs. Hover the cursor over the circumference of the circle, and when you see the pink radial guide, then go ahead and click and drag outward to plot the radius, and inward to plot the diameter. Let's try it on this arc right here. Click, drag, and release. Finally, let's click here to open the tool options. Here you can change the unit of measurement, the scale, precision, and appearance before you begin plotting your dimensions. If you already plotted something and wanted to change its settings, then just select it using the selection tool, open the properties panel, scroll down, and find the tool options. You can then choose to apply the changes to everything else by clicking apply to all here under quick actions. You can also set your settings as the default settings or even expand your selection so that it becomes fully editable. Now, if you have any questions, whatever question you might have, please feel free to write them down and send it directly to Adobe. They made the software, they should have all the answers. I can help too, I mean.